India's heaviest launch vehicle GSLV Mark III will launch the prestigious Chandrayaan-2. Chandrayaan-2 is the next leap in technology as we attempt to soft land close to South Pole of Moon. The soft landing is extremely complex and we will experience approximately 15 minutes of terror. After the grand success of India's first successful mission to Moon, Chandrayaan-1, India's Chandrayaan-2 is all set to be launched by ISRO in July 2019 using GSLV Mark III M1 launch vehicle. This three-stage rocket is the heaviest vehicle built by ISRO and has been selected for India's prestigious moon mission due to its reliability, versatility and payload carrying capability of 4000 kg. Weighing around 3,850 kilograms, Chandrayaan-2 has three modules. The orbiter, the lander named Vikram, and the rover named Pragyan. Once in lunar orbit, Chandrayaan will deploy Vikram, which will make precise, safe, and soft landing on the moon by September 2019. On landing, the rover Pragyan will deploy to perform mobility and scientific experiments on the lunar surface. The rocket will inject Chandrayaan-2 in the 170 by more than 38,500 kilometers Earth orbit. Subsequently, following a phased maneuver of five Earth burns, its orbit will be raised to 1,5292 kilometers. The spacecraft will then be nudged into the lunar transfer trajectory. From here, the Chandrayaan will take few days to arrive in proximity of the moon. The spacecraft's liquid apogee motor will be retrofired to insert it into a lunar orbit. Gradually over a few days, the spacecraft will be brought closer to the moon in 100 by 100 kilometer circular orbit through five lunar burns. While the orbiter will continue in this orbit, Vikram will separate and de-boost to 100 by 30 kilometers lunar orbit, where it will remain for four days. On the fourth day, optical high resolution camera payload OHRC onboard orbiter will be turned on to scout for a suitable landing site in the lunar South Pole region. The images taken will be transmitted to Earth and processed, after which the landing site map will be uploaded in Vikram prior to its powered descent phase. Lander will hover at 100 meters above the lunar surface and gradually begin its descent. Once Vikram lands, the rover Pragyan will deploy. The payloads of Pragyan and Vikram will then be turned on and start collecting information on lunar topography, mineralogy, elemental abundance, lunar exosphere and signatures of hydroxyl ions and water ice. The mission life of orbiter is one year and that of Vikram and Pragyan will be one lunar day which approximately equals 14 Earth days. Chandrayaan-2 will attempt to answer questions on yet unexplored lunar surface and open up possibilities of using the moon as a platform for further exploration of the solar system and beyond. With this, India reiterates its prowess in space technology and its commitment to humanity.